question number 10. This says, on a personal level, Mary, please tell me how you knew your husband was the one. Wow, it's, it's, it's the weirdest thing because you just know it. You just know it. Like, you just you just know it. You see the person and, and, and you know it. We were only on, like, our second date when I knew it. I, I didn't marry him yet, but I knew who he was. I knew who he was. And I, I don't know how. I just knew. I knew something was weird, and I was like, hmm. You know, it, it, it was just crazy. Aw, everybody say aw. If you want to check out Mary's video for The One with Drake, I posted it on our website, IndieHipHop.com. You can check it out right now. Uh, question number 11. These are going to go back fast. Question number 11. Mm -hmm. What's Mary's favorite food? Oh, man. I, I just love food. I don't have a favorite <laughs> food. I just love food, period. Mary's like, I eat anything that don't eat me first. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian says here, um, Mary, you are the woman of my dreams. I want to know if you cook. Yes, I do. What you be cooking in the kitchen, Mary? I cook. I, I mean, I don't make a big Thanksgiving spread, but I, I can I, I can cook peanut anything. butter and jelly and hot no. dogs. And hot dogs ain't cooking. No, girl. I be in the kitchen smothering chicken and baking oh, shoot. chicken and and making shrimp this, shrimp that, and rice. Watch out. Whatever you want. Watch out. We can win a Mary's for Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, if you want to um, check out this uh, this thing that I posted on IndieHipHop.com, you can do that. It's all of Mary's different pictures, like her different styles, because that's what we really love Mary for. We're doing 21 questions for Mary J. We are on question number 13, and this one comes from Tasha. With all of the young female singers out there, who do you think is giving you a run for your money? I don't think anybody's giving me a run for my money. <laughs> like, I'm still here doing what I'm doing. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't understand that question. <laughs> yeah, Tasha, we're going to X her out. Okay. Um, <laughs> question number 14. Is there anybody that you really want to collaborate with? This is from Monica. Right. Um, I, I think I've collaborated with just about everybody I'm going to collaborate with. But the one more person would be an, uh, would be Anita Baker. The one more person for for now would be Anita Baker. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. If you're just tuning in, we're talking to Mary J. Blige. We're on question number 15 of 21 questions, and this question right here comes from Damon. Oh, this is so stupid. I'm I'm gonna read it because it's on my list here. Okay. Okay. He wants to mm -hmm. know: Does Mary really drive a Cadillac? Cadillac. <laughs> I don't know. Is he talking about that commercial? Maybe he is. He might be talking about a commercial. Oh wow, that's a, that's an interesting that's an interesting <laughs> question. No, I don't. I just drive drive it for the commercial. And bless his heart, Damon. I believe that's like a Chevy Envoy or something that she's in the commercial for, but whatever. Question number sixteen. This says, "I hear that you're doing something special for a great cause this December." What is that about? Home for the holidays. It's just to find um, the children's, to get children home, home, homes, like the, the proper homes for Christmas. It's a, it's a show that comes on every year called Home for the Holidays. Question number 17. It says, um, you wrote a song for the movie Precious. Can you tell us about that? This comes from Donna. The song I wrote is called I Can See in Color. And um, it basically says when you're going through such a such a depressed time like you know precious was going through and like i even experienced in my life it seems like you all your days are cloudy and in black and white and it's like once you choose life or choose to want to you know come out of your situation you can it's like the days turn to sunny days you can see the roses or whatever flowers are blooming at the time or, or, or you can see the colors of life you know what i mean what you live in and that's basically what the song is about how did you like the outcome of precious man um i saw the movie three times the very first time i saw it i was stuck for like five minutes in silence yeah and you know most of the day couldn't even say anything the outcome of precious the end of this story is you know the part that we look forward to is when she finally sees her mother for what she is and she moves on and forgives them it's such a hard i mean it's such a hardcore dark but optimistic movie you yeah. know what i mean there's, if there's hope for precious good 
Right. Oh, I just hope they <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, they did like some special screens of Precious, I believe, last night. If anybody got to see it, please hit me up. Um, the queen of hip hop and soul hanging out with us. Okay, question number 18. We're almost there to the final question. You're set to sing at the 2009 American Music Awards. That's a pretty big deal. Are you excited and do you have your dress? I'm excited and my dress is being made right now as we speak for the red carpet. As far as an outfit to perform in, I don't know where that is yet. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you got a little bit of time, so we're excited about seeing you. What are you going to perform? Are you going to perform I Am? Yes, I'm going to be performing I Am in maybe a little bit of the one, you know, a little medley thing. Question number 19. Do you pick your own hairstyles? This comes from Brenda. Mary, you know you be killing some hairstyles. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't play that. <laughs> Mary is on it. I'll tell you, and I'm I'm being so honest. When I see your videos, like, that's it. I'm always like, I just want to see what Mary's hair is going to look like. Let's see. I remember Aww. going to the, uh, to the hair salon this year, and I took a picture of you. I was like, this is it right here. Mary, go ahead. Make it happen. <laughs> make it happen. And I did. It was so cute, too. I was like, this is my Mary J. Hey, y'all, my Mary J. All right, question number Thank 20. You. Girl, I'm telling you. Uh, question number 20. Is it hard for you to go out and do normal things because everyone notices you? What do you and your husband do to have fun? Um, You know what? It's really not that hard for me, I, you know, because I always understand what it is when I go out on Fifth Avenue and walk on the, on the block or, or walk on, the, you know, down the street. Or if I go to the grocery store, I got to be prepared to sign an autograph. I got to be prepared to take a picture. Yeah. So there is no, no, get off me unless it's a whole bunch of people. Right. It, you just can't, you got to just hurry up and get in your car. That's crazy. So, you know, you know, it, it's not that hard because people don't really bother me that much, you know, and it does get crazy, but you just got to prepare yourself. You know, you can't, you can't just become like, you know, the, staying in the house. You can't just stay in the house and right. just lose life. No. Oh, absolutely. People are not going to keep me off the street. I will be out there saying yes or no, whichever one, you know. Right. All right. And here's the last question. Question number 21, and this comes from Tyann. She says, if God granted you one wish, what would it be? It would be for all of those people to come back from that war already and for this war to be over. Wow. That's what it would be. I'm telling you. I think that's on a lot of people's wish list right about now, too. Mary J. Blige, mm-hmm. we want to thank you so much for kicking in with us today. Oh, you're welcome. I had a good time.